For this next part, we're going to take a look at coding your start button. The main purpose of our start button is to basically enable all of our organ systems so that they are able to be dragged across the screen. Now, if you remember in the last tutorial, when clicking on the reset button, we basically disabled all of those systems so that they can no longer move. This forces us to have to use the start button in order to re-enable them. Now, the whole purpose of the start button is not only to be able to enable those organ systems, but also to start our timer. This allows the timer to start on our command rather than when the app launches. Now, the timer is one of the additional features. We're not going to be looking at it during this tutorial, but we will be including that at a later time. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when we actually go ahead and click this start button. So for your start button, let's take a look at our code. We already have the reset button. So right next to your reset button, we're going to go ahead and find our start button. And we're going to find out what happens when we actually click on start. Now, as mentioned before, all we're really looking to do is to basically enable those organ systems. So in order to do that, all we're going to find is our systems down in our left hand side. And we're going to start with our brain. And we're going to look to set that brain to be enabled. Now, just as before, we went ahead and set our brain enabled to false when the reset was clicked. Now we're going to go ahead and set that to true. That will allow us to be able to use that drag feature again. And just as before, all we're going to worry about going ahead and doing is simply going ahead and copying this a few times and going ahead and changing those organ systems. We'll start with the digestive system, respiratory system, and then the urinary system. Now, as mentioned later on, when we want to start the timer, this is where we will go ahead and add it right into this when start button is clicked. But for now, this is all we need to add for our start button click. So let's take a look and see what our app will actually do now that we have programmed both the start and reset button. So now that our app is initialized, let's go ahead and test when we move all of our organ systems into the correct locations, they should be locked into place. Now we already set them up so that they are disabled once they actually collide with the correct placement. So they should no longer be able to move. And when we hit the reset button, they're going to go back to those original locations. Now what we added was that we were basically setting the each organ system to be enabled to fall so they can no longer move once that reset button is pressed. So you can see that these are no longer able to actually move. Now by adding the start button, we went ahead and re-enabled all of those organ systems. So after selecting the start button, we should be able to go and move those organ systems back into their correct locations.